night. What's up in the loop? It's Andrew. We're doing something a little different today. Going to a, a quasi theme park. That's right. If you've ever driven to Tampa, you've driven past it every single time. Dinosaur World. Let's see what it actually is and maybe if it's good or not. We'll go check it out. So we made it in the park. I have to say, uh, great guest service so far. And they asked if it was our first time. She shows everything on the map. But probably the best thing, uh, exciting thing about this place is, that's right, it's dog friendly. My dog's first uh, quasi, no, 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 don't, don't do that. Uh, quasi theme park. So uh, anxious to uh, have him see what he thinks of the dinos. We'll get his review later. We'll get some of the dinosaurs here. Nice thing about this park is it's uh, so heavily in the shade. Um, so even on the hot uh, Florida day, it's probably not terrible because the sun's not beating down on you like some of the other parks. Let's get the dog review. He's uh, he's not sure yet. Not sure yet. He's skeptical about these tourist trap places. Some uh, some good AAs will win him over though. I'm sure. Not quite sure what's going on over here. I feel like there's a Jungle Cruise joke you could do here, but uh, yeah, that's kind of interesting. You wouldn't see that at Disney. A lot of boardwalks through here. It's a very swampy uh, place. So uh, every like 30 feet you walk across one of these wooden boardwalks here. But uh, lots of dinos, as you can see, uh, I'm looking through the trees here. Probably every 20 feet or so there's a uh, dino. So far none of them have moved. Apparently some of them do. But uh, lots and lots of dinos. Big T-Rex. Kind of big, you see that it's probably like 30 feet long. 20 feet tall. Cool thing is a uh, nice themed trash cans. Look at that. Again, lots and lots of dinos. Pretty good. Um, I think prices are uh, 16 bucks for an adult, uh, so you know, about uh, triple the price. Dinosaurs alive, I believe, but uh, got a lot of dinos every 10 feet or so. Let's, let's do a dog check. Chance, how you liking it? Tail's still halfway down. He'll come around, I'm sure. I, everyone's always scared on their first theme park experience. Dog's starting to like, like the park. Really weird layout. A lot of like small paths like this, kind of just wind around. And apparently, this is a dead end here, despite the fact that there's a uh, pretty cool looking dinos. Literally, right on the other side of uh, this wall here is I-4. So you probably see some of these while you're driving along on your way to Tampa to Bush Gardens or whatnot. But overall, the park's uh, really well kept. All the dinosaurs seem to be in pretty good shape. None of them moved that we found yet, but uh, they all seem to be in pretty good shape, uh, painting-wise and just overall appearance. Of course, a little information about each one. This is the longest dead end ever. I wonder if it's really a dead end. Let's find out. Here's a look at the map. Like what I was just saying, a lot of roundabout paths. What we thought was a dead end is not a dead end. It's a fork in the road. You can see the craziness of crisscrossing paths everywhere. Again, I-4 would be up along this end right there. I'll show you a little bit more of the map. They even have little uh, water stands for uh, the dog. So he's starting to really like this park because they cater to him. All right, let's check out this mammoth giants of the Ice Age. Fancy sign right there. This definitely looks like it's a uh, Newer section. 
But again, lots of uh, lots of dinos. Definitely don't cheap out on the dino factor here. See, dog approved. Chance. He's starting to like it now that he's got his uh, complimentary water. He's starting to really take to this place. We'll have to take them to Knobles next since you can uh, take dogs on rides at Knobles. Dog definitely approves of the woolly mammoths. Took a lot to get him to sit there, so uh, the fact that he sat there definitely approves of these uh, good looking woolly mammoths uh, dinosaurs here. Inside the dino museum here. No dogs are allowed in this part, unfortunately. See why it's a lot of museum stuff. Can speak on behalf of my dog and say he'd probably be bored. But apparently, there's animatronic dinos somewhere in here. A little, a little movement by the dino. Alright, we want to give our review of Dinosaur World here. That's Chance. He warmed up by the end after he got some water. Some people came up and gave him pets. It's now his favorite theme park. Only one he's been to, but favorite theme park. Alright, a quick wrap up of Dinosaur World here. It's uh, about a half hour, 45 minutes from Orlando, depending on where you're coming from. Um, on the way to uh, Tampa, right off I-4. So, I would say, if you like Dinosaurs Alive at your uh, local theme park, a little bit more pricey than that, but if you have kids who really like dinos, 16 bucks uh, for adults, I think it's a little cheaper for kids. Might not be uh, too bad. Um, I have to call it one of the best things here at uh, BYOB, food and beverage. So I'm not saying, but just saying, if you want to bring the unofficial in the loop beverage of uh, Golden Monkey, yeah, it could. Might make the place a little bit more enjoyable. So check out the YouTube channel, check out Facebook, Instagram, you know the drill. And this is Dinosaur World.